Hi everybody, welcome to Tablescape Tuesdays. This is a collab that's hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and Amethyst Adventures. Amethyst Adventures is on break for right now, but they have a guest host, Deborah Cabasa Home Living. Now I will have the links to their channels and the playlist, so please enjoy the playlist and subscribe to all of the host channels. Now this week, the theme for this uh, tablescape is pink and white vintage. Now I must say, I struggled a little bit with this table, trying to get it together and trying to look for different pieces to put on the table, but I think I pretty much came up with something nice that I hope you will enjoy. Now those pearls you're looking at were given to me a long time ago and I just think they are so beautiful. So I'm just glad I had that little neck piece there to put them around. And you see that little Dollar Tree pink little bottle. Those are so pretty, you guys. If you have not seen them there, you need to go to Dollar Tree. They're so cute. And there is a cup, little teacup there. And I think that is absolutely beautiful. That was my grandmother's uh, teacup. And I just think she took such great care of her things. So pretty. Look at the details and all the flowers and the gold color. I mean, it's just so pretty, pretty, pretty. And that little gold bottle was my great grandmother's. She, uh, I think she put some perfume in that bottle. And it's just it's so old that... I'm just glad that I have the opportunity to have it. That mirror there is old. Uh, that was my great-grandmother's mirror. So I just decided to keep it because I like the way it looks. And it's a great keepsake. In the center, I have a pearl tray. I have a white pitcher and some pink uh, Dollar Tree roses that are so pretty inside that pitcher. And I just added some uh, lace um, sheer around it. There's a cute little napkin that I really like. It has flowers on it, so I just wanted to add it on there. And some pearls, a nice long stream of pearls. I just added around the entire tray. There's a a um, candle, and in that apothecary jar, I added some pearls in it and wrapped a little chiffon. Yeah, the same as the other flowers. I added chiffon little lace material there as a bow. Then this tray here is new, and those flowers are. I've had them for a while. That little cute little um, flower type thing. I have something really, really nice that I'm going to show it to you in just a second. It is a ring that my grandmother, uh, she gave to me a long, long time ago. I don't know if that was her wedding ring, but I'm always going to keep it. I just love, love it. And I, I'm always going to cherish it. So it's a silver ring with a little diamond in it. table I have a white throw and I added a pink and white 
type of scarf. You can use it as a runner, and I'm using it as a runner. Uh, you can use it as a scarf for your hair or anything to go over your shoulders. And I'm showing you there part of the, um, the throw, the white part. And there's the pink and white runner. The dishware is my grandmother's. She left me those when she uh, left the earth and I have the privilege of having them and I'm so glad because it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys remember the 94 earthquake, well, California, I don't know how many other states felt it, but California felt it and a lot of these dishes that you see here broke, but I'm so glad that I have a lot of them still and that teacup is so pretty, so pretty. I just love the entire set. It's just beautiful. And I'm always going to cherish all of it. And then I have a gold charger underneath. took those uh, it was a white heart doily and a pink doily that you see that's laying on the table with the uh, gold flatware on top of it I didn't want to make it a Valentine's table so I decided uh, I would just fold them in half and lay it on the table like that just to make it look a little different and not so much Valentine ish so I didn't want to go Valentine style I just decided to just try to do a simple pink and white so I think it came out really nice the way I have it folded up and inside of the water cups the glasses I have some pink hearts by the way um, I will be using those for Valentine's Day but I just thought it would look really pretty in the cups um, just to give it a nice pink touch of, you know a different pop of color so that it won't look so plain and I think it turned out really really nice and this is it this is my pink and white vintage tablescape I hope you like it I like it it took a while for me to get this look and I must say I feel like I did a a great job I think it's a beautiful tablescape and it's not easy for me to say that on my own work but <laughs> it took a lot of trial and error and um, I think I accomplished the vintage look pretty pretty good so if you like this please give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new here welcome my name is Liz and I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel please give me a comment and double tap that bell so that you will be notified of all of my videos and I welcome you to the channel and I'd like to give a special thank you to Anna Courtney and Deborah. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys have a blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye.